Hey, what's going on? Can we make an odd number, right, from two even numbers? Well, it all depends. If you take the number 12, is that actually an odd number or an even number? You see, 12 or 1 and 2 is 3. 12 gets divided by 6 and 2, makes 12, right? So anyways, what I'm getting to with this all has to do with Australia. Because I was taking a look with two of Australia, and I'm going to try and show you. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Um, can I make this smaller? No, if I make this smaller, I, I eliminate. Let me see. No, can't, can't see it. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get back to what I was doing. Put this on me over here. You see, in Australia, their horses, okay, they usually can run up to almost 20 horses in a race down in Australia. They also cover the racing for Dubai. Now, covering all these racetracks mean you have to communicate, a reason to communicate elsewhere. So some of the bets that are coming in on these racetracks are actually coats. The number for Australia in my numerology concept of colors and numbers is the number eight, which means the fourth connect of the heaven, which is the fourth delta. Delta, 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 which actually is 16. Six and one is seven. It means a spirit connect. The eight is the heaven. Now, they also have a connection to the number 11. Now, in regular horse bra uh, racing in standard bred or thoroughbred here in Canada or the U.S., those numbers are both gray also. And that's the reason why I understand the way they are. In all actuality, in real life, eight means the heavens. It covers communication. 11 means the 4, 6, and 1, or 7, 4, or 6, and 5, 11, in which all, okay, branch out. That Anything that passes 10 will branch out and say, je, means I, game, I'm in the game. So there seems to be some sort of receiver for um, elements of transmission that are leaving the Baltic Sea and coming back around again. So the Australians must be inside of that somehow. Now, are they good? Are they bad? I don't know. I just know by the 8 and 11, it makes 19. And 19 is 1 and 9, and 19 roulette are all red. It means spirit, spirit, spirit connect. It means all connection of communication. Now, what side are they on? I don't know. What I can tell you is, have you ever seen a koala bear? Take a good look at this bear, okay? This bear stands out for basically who we are. In fact, every animal on this planet stands out a piece. The seahorse? okay that you see out there huh. that's actually right here in our head is there is their mouth okay and it runs down our spinal cord right down to our coccyx and now you got a seahorse you are the seahorse whatever God did whatever Christ did on this planet you don't want to believe in any of them don't however this creation came to be it's not just like that if I can do my numerology to come up with Christ in ten different situations Okay, always showing up at 7 and 4 or 74 or 740. In dice, man is, is a roll at a dice because he's a square. Man is a square, he has the square dice. We can't get 7 on a dice unless you use two sides of the dice, the opposite sides of the dice. You know what I'm saying? So when you play the game of craps, if you roll a 6 and 2, actually what you get is 6 and 2 is 8, plus you get 5 and 1. So you get 6, 1, 2, Eight. Six, one, and two is nine, and eight is seventeen. One and seven is eight. Again, you got the heavens back, back to the same number. Now, is it a little uh, um, diff difficult to to understand? What I'm trying to say is the opposite side of a five dice is a two dice. The opposite side of a one dice is a six dice. The opposite side of a four dice is a three dice. They all resemble seven. So your telephone, the five in the center, everything from the five and out is a difference of one. So five eight can mean five center to all eight connectors that are one away. But the connections between one, three, seven, and nine on your phone are not the same connections between two, four, six, and eight. Two, five, eight, four, five, six in your phone, that's the energy of Christ. It splits out as our level and it comes in from the top and it splits. That's the energy of Christ. Now you must connect that to level one, two, three on your phone. Four, five, six in your phone, seven, eight, nine. Now, when you do that, you're doing it from the inside out. So you go from the center, and it creates E on one side, E on the other side. But there's more. Because two, four, six, and eight on a paper are right here. 
Can you, can you see it? It's empty. There's nothing there. There's no color. We put the colors there because by putting 13709 on the outside and corners, they create all the L number. And if you put those L's together, it creates the swastika. So there's so many things that I can, I can do. I'm never really sure which way to go, but I'm trying to help most of the people as possible who want to know the truth. I can tell you right now, war is not the way. Taking over somebody else because you think they're going to come to you is not the way. If you're in the army and you're trying to do things, it's not the way. Nobody's coming to your house. Nobody's going to come to your door. They don't even want to be here. And if you don't want them here, don't let them in. Okay? So what is all this bee crap all that's going on? You disgust me, government. You pigs. Okay? Even if you're not all pigs, I'm only telling you you're pigs. Because if the Chinese came out with this, and they let this sell, that the government let this sell, they knew there was a government that is a pig. Now, what does it mean, government? Government means point of view taken by one, elected to direct the other of what was the chosen by the people. That's what government means, okay? So if you're not like that, well, then you're not a bad person and you're not the government. Because in my view, government is BS, period, okay? BS. The point of the whole matter is to make a point in the center and then find out all the matter around it. And you don't go to control it. Okay? You don't go to control. You go to give the people what they need and what they say they need, and that has to be discussed. We must work online. This is disgusting. The computer's been around for what? I know somebody who's sold a computer 40 years ago. Now's the time to vote online, to order online, to do your groceries online, to buy something online. Okay? Online is the way to go. The whole thing is with communication right now, they got the wiring shoved right up our butts. But, 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 oh my God, you disgust me. I've been just, I'm just pissed. Did I get my pay today? No. Was I offered to get money today? I certainly was. I didn't want it. Why? Because my brain was always racked up with everybody taking advantage with money. So I don't want mine right now. I'll take it when I need it. I'm lucky I got a person that I understand that I know that can do it for me the way he does. And I appreciate it. Thank you very much. But in this world, my friend, this is Christmas. This is a Merry Christmas, and this is the last Christmas. I'd just like to make you all aware that next year the Mayans say the world will end before the 25th. So if you're going to celebrate Christmas, have a reason to celebrate now in the honor of Christ and the love of the God who put Christ here, who led us, led him, help us in saving what society is all about. It's not about control and communication. Why do they want to do it? It's still, it's still even if I know the reason, it just doesn't make any sense doesn't make any sense. If somebody wants to come out and blow the world up, let them do it. Would you rather somebody take your life away? If there's a God and they take over this world, well, we're going to leave. God's going to come and get us. Whether we're alive or dead, he's coming to get us. All those good at heart are coming to get us. But stand up for your rights, my friends. There's nothing wrong with standing up for your rights. And you know what the best thing is when you stand up for your rights? Stand up with a friend of a friend of a friend and so on. They showed you on TV 30 years ago in the hairspray commercial. One friend and one friend and one friend. Do you know how fast it goes up? 248, 16, 32, 164, 328, 512, 1024, 2000, 4008, 16, 32,000, 64, 128,000, 256,000, a half a million, 1 million, 1 million, 2 million, 4 million, 8 million, 1632, 64, 128 million, 256, 500 million, a billion, 2 billion, 4 billion, 6 billion. You got all the people in the world. How long did that take me to double up? Not long at all. That's why I'm saying don't be afraid. They will come. If you set it up, they will come. Oh, did you want to know what this is? Have you ever seen this sign before? This is a, one of the signs of Christ. Each of these are a value of three. How do I know? Because in the center and the bottom, they bent it here and they bent it here. This connects to seven. This connects to one. This connects to three. This connects to nine. In all actuality, this is both Christ and Christ. Because in this world, although you see the one, two, three on your telephone, right? That telephone has to be turned three, nine, seven, one. And then you turn it again, seven, nine, three, one. And then you turn it again. Everything's got to be turned, four turns, okay? Everybody's got to have a chance on top. That's why when the world goes around and they're saying, when is the time? Elenin came by to show us that the barrier 
was opened, that they can come in. And when they left, the barrier was still open for them to leave. Okay, that's how Elenin works. Elenin, Russia. Elenin, Rome. Roaming in Russia. Communication to Rome, to Russia. Rus means the red hair. God is the red hair. Okay, you like that? Over here? Where is it? I got hit in the head yesterday. Why? Because I wasn't paying attention to an idiot. And I was that idiot. <laughs> I lifted my head when I shouldn't have. <laughs> you see, <laughs> I'm as much as a sane person as I am an idiot. But when it comes to love and the people of the world, let me tell you one thing. If somebody tells me not to love Jesus, you can go, goodbye. I've had those people tell me. I've had very close people. Why do you not like Jesus? Why do you love Jesus? It's nothing. No. The minute they hear the name come out of my mouth of Jesus Christ, they're gone. They don't want to know who I am anymore. The whole thing is, I'm very close with some of these people. They still won't let me speak my word. Christ, okay, is banana boat. It's the mellow yellow. It's the connection. It's the gasoline. It's the octane. It's the diesel inside of who we are is the Christ. Hashem is still the God, but Christ was put here because God gave him a world of his own. God gave his son his own world, and this is who we are. Now the big question is, are we just a bunch of schoolhouses up in God's world, millions of miles away, and when we die, we die, this body dies, and we wake up somewhere else? Or are we actually the pinball in our head? Because if we are that pinball in our head, then they can screw us up and we'd have never a chance to return. God can't untwine us and twine us and untwine us because once they twine us up and we're dead, how do we untwine us? Don't you worry, okay? What's in here is connected to two places. If one's not working, the other one's working. If the other one's not working, this one's working. But you know what? There's no one can intercept God's energy. No one at all. Not the earth. Not the president, not money. God, money? God looks at money and goes, where's my son? The minute you mention money to God, the first thing he says is, where's my son? Because money is all about a human being. Mo, ne, in French. My nose, my brain, my toes. Okay? Mo, ne, money. Mo, ne, Lisa. Okay, is the lease of my brain thoughts on earth. Mona Lisa. Da Vinci. This is the wine, the grapes that God gave onto a great man to color and design us pictures so we can have a vision of the reality and truth from within one coming from God, passing through a man of high stature inside his heart of love. And this is who the guys were. And all these famous people and all these sports numbers, they were chosen for certain reasons. Now, are they going to go ahead and listen to God? He gave them something. Are they giving anything back? And it's not just money. Money? If I say money and I go to China and go, money, what's the guy going to say to me? If I go to, to what does money mean? Mo nay. It means my nose and my business and my nose is in your business. Why? I'm a human being in the population of the planet Earth. And we're all together as one. And if we can't get together as one, well, God shut this whole thing down, send us back home. But you know what will be fucked about this whole thing? <laughs> leave all the governments here. <laughs> they can fight between themselves, right? Right? Just leave the governments here. Take away all the people. <laughs> the governments, they want to rule. Let them rule their own bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Soon they're going to turn around and come to my house and going to send me into the toilet and they're going to go sit there all day in your own toilet. Well, listen to me, big, big guy. Let me tell you one thing. I know some of the governments have no choice. But at the same time, they have no choice. They better be planning to make themselves have a choice one day because if they're not and they're just following the leader, well, guess what? <laughs> you shouldn't be there. And I'm going to send out my wishes for Hanukkah, Happy New Year to everybody, including all the president's men because... If you've made a mistake, it's not too late to change. If there's something wrong, it's not too late to change. There's no such thing as I can't just because, no. What's going on is going on, but your mind is your mind. The next breath you take and the next word you speak is your choice. 
Now, if you're going to get hurt because of it, guess what? We all get hurt because of it. And if you're going to only save your butt end, what's going to happen to the rest of us? So if you save your butt end, everybody else gets knocked off. That makes you no good. If you're going to save your house and wife and family just for yourself and nobody else, you ain't saving nobody else because God will show you on this earth what it means to do. Can I say hypocrisy? I like to say the word hypocrisy, okay? Not high, hiero, hero, hiero, hiero, glyphorics. Now the question is, do I actually know what I'm talking about? Absolutely not. Do I care? Of course I do. Are there some words I mentioned that no one can understand where I'm going with this? Absolutely. It's for you to use your own mind and take with what I gave you into the future with whoever you're with and your friends around you and I will join you just like I am taking all these chances online saying all these things which really aren't that bad but some people might take it to heart in the wrong way and they'll say that I'm uh, manipulating the public or whatever else because I've had other people come up to me already and tell me things and uh, I find it disgusting I'm not putting anybody off what they did you came here I mean if you have inclinations or inclaton inclaton Klingons, Bill Clinton, another Klingon. <laughs> He's got all that hair up there, right? It's to notify you. <laughs> look, look at the color of my hair and I got a lot. It's to notify you. What I'm doing is not good. But don't worry, I got my wife and my kids in it now. You know what I think? I think that I've said enough and sometimes I say too much. But K sera sera. I'm here at home, I'm harmless, and I'll always be harmless unless you count this as not being harmless. Sticks and stones might break my bones, but names will never harm me. Isn't that the way it goes? Well, this is only full of names. I ain't got no sticks and stones because I'm not here for that. The only stone I have is in my head, and the only stick I have is a rod down below, and I created my son with it, and that's all I'm ever going to do with my stick and stone. Take care, my friends.